This video is brought to you by SailRight. Visit SailRight.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. The full flat failed seam is labor intensive, but for the best looking seam on the top and bottom sides, strength, and water resistance, it cannot be beat. How often is it used in canvas projects? Not much. It simply takes too much time to make the seam. To sample this seam, we're going to use Sunbrella Marine Grade Fabric. Using a soapstone pencil, we mark the cut line and we mark a line to the left a half inch and also the right a half inch. Using a hot knife to cut the edges keeps the fabric from unraveling, but the full flat filled seam really can be cut with scissors because these edges will be hidden inside the seam. Sunbrella marine grade fabric does not have a right side or a wrong side, but your project probably will. So here we'll mark it in and out for the uh, outside surface and inside surface of both these panels. Using the outside panel that has a line scribed on it, we will place seam stick basting tape which is a double-sided tape right underneath the line that we scribed on the fabric so this basting tape is almost directly underneath that line this is a 3 8 inch wide basting tape for canvas peel off the transfer paper and we'll base the opposite panel so outside surfaces are facing each other the raw edge of this top panel is right along the line that we scribed a half inch from the edge of the bottom panel. The double sided tape will hold the panels in place as we take them to the sewing machine and sew. We're going to sew right on top of the half inch line on the top panel, doing some reversing at the beginning and also at the end to lock our stitch in place. This scribed line is a half inch away from the upper panel and one inch away from the bottom panel. Now the bottom panel has a lip and that lip equals a half inch. We'll take this to our lofting table and apply the seam stick basting tape for canvas right along that half inch lip. After peeling off the transfer paper revealing the glue, we will fold that lip over top of the top panel's edge. Then place another row of seam stick basting tape for canvas on top of it. Now we'll fold the top panel over and baste it to that double sided tape. You'll notice that the outside surface is now facing up on both panels. We'll use the Sarek Canvas Patterning Ruler to crease it well, or you can use a heavy object if you don't have that. So there's the outside, and there's the inside. The inside already has one stitch in it. With the inside surface facing up, we'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew very close to that folded edge, approximately an eighth inch from it, doing some reversing at the beginning and also at the end to lock our stitch in place. The properties of the full flat filled seam are that it's very attractive on both sides. It is the most waterproof seam and it is by far the strongest 100% of the fabric's strength. One stitch is hidden from the sun and the other one on the top side is exposed. It is very labor intensive and uses the most amount of fabric to create the seam. Here we used one and a half inches of fabric in its creation. If you don't mind the extra labor and time that it takes to create the full flat failed seam, and if you don't mind a little bit of excess fabric being used up in the seam, this is still a great seam for canvas work. To see more videos on seam construction, click one of the video links here, or click the links in the YouTube description.